choices are bad. And good ones are like listening to your parents and being the very best you can be and having a good attitude and never giving up and working hard. What are some bad things you learn to keep away from? Right here, what'd you learn? Taking drugs, one more? Alcohol, any bad things to keep away from? Tobacco, I wanna to talk about tobacco. Tobacco, you guys learned about tobacco, right? You know what I'm told them? Cigarettes, right? And cigarettes and tobacco kills thousands of people each year. And we just want to let you know that even though you smoke, it doesn't make you a bad person. I have family members and friends I love who smoke, and they always tell me, don't do it, it's a bad habit. But it, it is bad for your health. So if somebody comes up to you and says, hey, man, you want to be cool? Take that. What are you going to tell them? Yeah. And, here, and here's what I do. Here's what I do. I'll take the cigarette. I'm like, man, these things are so bad for you. We need to, we need to get rid of these things. And, you like, you guys like reading good books? Well, if you, all right, man. I know, it's pretty cool, right? Thank you. <laughs> all right, so, think about it. Your life is like a book. Who do you think the author of your book is? You guys, and every day you write a new page and a new chapter and a new paragraph, and most of what is going into your book are based on the choices you make in life. So you don't need to be Harry Potter. You don't need to know magic. You don't need to have a crystal ball looking to the future. Because the best way to predict your future is to create it. And we just want you guys to create a future that is free from drugs and violence and bullying and filled with all the good stuff. Now, do you guys have a good imagination? Yeah. Yes. You do? Yeah. Yeah. Anybody ever eat McDonald's? Okay, anybody ever eat McDonald's? Okay. Anybody here, more importantly, anybody here have any goals or dreams? Okay, goal or dream. Yeah, what's we'll the goal or dream you have? A lawyer, and we heard a bunch of them earlier. One more? Your own restaurant. You want to be a lawyer, an astronaut, a scientist, whatever. That is a goal of dream. I want you to pretend this McDonald's bag is your brain. It's big and open and ready for new ideas. And the straw are your goals and dreams. Whatever you want to be. And what happens if you put that goal of dream in your mind where you don't believe, you don't work hard, you give up? What do you think happens? It's just a goal and dream. But what happens if you put that goal and dream in your mind and you really believe and you really work hard? What do you think will happen to that?
you talked about goals and dreams, right? Yes. All right. What if your goals and dreams are way up here? How do you get up high? How do you get up there? like a ladder too. You guys have already climbed up that ladder through the fifth, uh, through the fifth grade. Now you're going into middle school. So remember, life is like a ladder, and sometimes you have to help people up the ladder along with you, and make sure you got to lean on the right goal, the right wall, and you're climbing in the right direction. So what I like to finish with, even though I'm older, I like to carry a big, shiny, eight-foot ladder with me to remind me I, I have to still keep climbing too. So you, you guys think I can? You ready? You want to try? Keep showing that at one, two, three. <laughs> tall enough, you're not fast enough, you don't look the right way. Don't believe it. Sometimes you'll get sometimes you'll get that stinking fig and you'll hear that voice in your head telling you, I can't do it, I can't do it. Don't believe it. We need you guys, we love you guys, you're our future. Okay? So keep believing. Thank you so much from all of us at the Sheriff's Office for your commitment to say drugs of Iowa Springs. Thank you for your unwavering dedication to the program. God bless you guys. Thank you.